Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, we bring you news. Catherine rocked those printed outfits as she and William visit Singapore for the Earthshot Prize in 2023. During 2012, Prince William and his wife Catherine visited Singapore. According to a source, the Prince and Princess of Wales are scheduled to arrive in Singapore for the Earthshot Prize 2023. Although no specific plans have been published, the Princess of Wales is expected to accompany Prince William at Earthshot 2023, considering neither has participated in the Earthshot event yet. Southeast Asia's placement is appropriate, considering that the area has been one of the regions most impacted by global warming. Despite this, according to organizers of the Earthshot Prize, it additionally serves as an intersection for creators, businessmen, elected officials, and creative thinkers who have dedicated themselves to rebuilding the health of the planet. Five finalists are going to be granted £1 million throughout the event to assist with expanding their green solutions. Throughout the event, there will be additional demonstrations by entertainers and musicians. For the inaugural year, the presentation of the prizes is going to be held in conjunction alongside Earthshot Week, during which international managers, companies and patrons are expected to gather in Singapore to investigate new possibilities offered by the Earthshot Prize participants and finalists, with the objective of speeding up the solutions they propose and carrying out regarding their apparent actions for restoring the damage done to the environment. Tamasek Fund, Tamasek, Gen Zero, and Conservation International have announced that they'll provide funding for the 2023 version of the Nobel Prize. Princess Catherine and William have visited Singapore on several occasions in previous years, and as a blogger who writes about fashion, I am eternally grateful how she captured the attention of fashion fans and the entire world during her visits. If you happen to recall, Catherine changed her clothes twice today, wearing Raoul pieces from Singapore. When the royal couple visited Queenstown, the nation's inaugural government-funded housing project, Catherine wore a Singapore-based label to honour the Jubilee tour-hosting nation. We hoped Catherine would accessorise with Raoul since it represents numerous of her favourite style components. Fresh, classical lines that are minimal, frou-frou, or interruptions, and ageless trends. Catherine donned an exquisite silk Tara blouse and coordinating skirt designed specifically for matches clothing. A red and black cubic hearts pattern evokes retro 1970s design. That stated the synopsis of the skirt. Raoul's white silken pattern ruffled skirts offer a retro cool spin on feminine new season attire. This white silk folded below the knee skirt features a mid-rise, a red and black cubed design, and a black waistline with a concealed side zipper closure. Catherine looks great wearing that label. It's a clean, sophisticated appearance that performed nicely for her afternoon activities. Sarah, whose tale we quoted earlier, supplied this photo of Catherine with a little fan. The royal couple appeared relaxed and comfortable and relishing their responsibilities, notwithstanding the searing temperature reported by numerous UK medias. Catherine wore her beloved LK Bennett sledges as well as the Anushka diamond studs again. The couple went on to their following engagement, making a trip to the Rainbow Centre, which is an institution of learning and community hub for special needs youngsters. The present year marks the organization's 20th anniversary, and the pupils were anxious to visit the royal couple. The royal couple departed back to their accommodation while leaving for the evening celebration at Eden Hall, the house of the British High Ambassador. Catherine switched once more, and this time she was wearing Erdem, a revised version of a garment that was part of the designer's springtime label. Representatives of the British and various other expat groups, in addition to famous Singaporeans, attended the ceremony. Catherine displayed her love of Erdem while donning several of the designer's gowns during her royal visit of North America this past year. And then there's the Jacinta tour from this one. Catherine reportedly donned a custom Erdem to the Parade of Colour ceremony this year as well. 
During the event, there were additionally numerous Team Singapore Paralympic athletes who had recently returned from Britain. Further down, Prince William greets the Laurentia Tan, a Paralympics equestrian. Erdem's silk outfit in blue and white, featuring red specifics, very Eastern style, a ruffled skirt, uncovered back seams, and fitted sleeve. She additionally happens to be sporting four-inch beige shoes. With accordance to regional customs plus etiquette, the top part is lined, as well as transparent flyaway sleeves that have been included and incorporated. Catherine provided a pair of L.K. Bennett Harper with light grey leather footwear. The footwear includes a hidden structure, a nearly four and a half inch heel, and costs one hundred and ninety-five pounds. The princess also wore a grey handbag that we hadn't witnessed before. We also observed an additional set of studs, which my small obsessives believe are an alternate design of the aforementioned Kiki McDonough sapphire and diamond earrings, and I'm inclined to be in agreement with her. All three of today's looks were excellent. I enjoy seeing Kate wearing local designers, along with safer, more familiar labels. Hopefully, we'll see more new names and possibilities in Malaysia, including Zhang Toy. My friend Wendy Brandes introduced me to this work years ago, or perhaps we'll see something by Bernard Chandran. The present-day three outfits and the following day's agenda are as follows: the white Alexander McQueen broderie anglaise saw earlier in the day, the Raoul separates from it, and Erdem. The royal couple went to the Super Tree Grove, which has special oaks reaching upwards of 16 stories in elevation. Georgina Brewer's photograph depicts Catherine with a couple of these big trees, alongside William further below the walkway. Kate wore a white McQueen suit made of broderie anglaise fabric, which has a cutout motifs and embroidery around the cutouts. The suit included a fitted shirt with short sleeves that were cuffed. A deep V-neck and a self belt. The outfit was a traditional outfit by Sarah Burton, designed by Alexander McQueen, and the result provided an outstanding appearance at this occasion, with a pristine white cotton design that held tightly to the extreme temperatures and humidity. The Princess of Wales wore Russell and Bromley's Stuart Weitzman cork swoon heels, which she wore regularly at the games and the Paralympics. Catherine appeared to be carrying her blue leather muse handbag, as well as the diamond sapphire cluster earrings that we've seen her wear on several occasions. Thank you for watching today's video. What do you think of her ensembles whilst in Singapore? Will she continue to wear the Singapore designers this year? Please share your opinions, and I'll say goodbye for the time being.